Hello there and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will take a look at what Microsoft Entra ID is, Entra Group is, the benefits of using Entra Group when you would like to add the Entra Group into the SharePoint Online, and how do we add the Microsoft Entra Group into the SharePoint Online Group using PNP PowerShell. So let's get started. There may be a scenario where users belongs to a specific department or the business unit needs to access a department or business unit specific SharePoint site. In such scenarios, organization wants to ensure that any user joining the department or the business unit should automatically get the access on those sites. And upon leaving the department or business unit, their access should be revoked. It is a best practice to manage such permissions at Microsoft Azure Entra Group level and not to manage these users at the SharePoint Online site level. In these scenarios, usually there are no direct site owners who can manage the users from the SharePoint Online site to handle the user onboarding or the user lever process due to the governance that is set up. Having said that, let us open the portal.azure.com and let's create the Entra group and then we will add that Entra group into the SharePoint group using PNP PowerShell. So let's get started. Now I'm in the portal.azure.com. In the search resources, go ahead and search for groups. Click on group services. I'm going to create a new group. Since we have here a sales team site, I would like to create a group which will have sales team. So let's go ahead, create a security group. You can have a different group like a security group or Microsoft 365. We will stick around with a security group for this video. Group name, we will say a sales team. Group description. This group will have all users belonging to the sales department. Okay. Microsoft Entra roles can be assigned to the group. If you would like, you can select yes, honors, members and roles. For now, we will say no. Membership type is assigned. No honors selected, no members selected, which is fine in this case. Let's go ahead and create. If you want, we can also assign the owner from the Active Directory. We can also assign the members from the Active Directory. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on Create. OK, so successfully created the group. So let's go ahead and now find our group, which is a sales team. There we have it. Let's click on sales team. Now let's add the users who would be part of the group. Okay, so we go to members and these members and owners are exactly the same which was shown in the previous screen. Let's add some members. So one of the member is going to be Adele and the other member is going to be Alex. So let's select Adele and Alex, click on select. It will add two users and they will be the members of the group. Two members were added. Click on refresh and we see two users. Okay. Now let's go back to the sales team site. Click on gear icon. Click on site permissions. Click on advanced permission settings. And click on the sales team site members. This is where we actually want to give an access to the security group. So let's go ahead and remove this user for now. And let's add the sales team Entra group into the sales team site members SharePoint group using PNP PowerShell. Okay, we are here. We are establishing the connection to the sales team site. Then we are getting the associated member group. And then here in the add PNP group member, all we need to do is specify the group name.
Okay, so let's go ahead and execute this. We'll provide the credentials. And we can see the entra group added to the site member successfully. We have not received any error. So let's go back to the SharePoint site and validate this. Let's hit refresh, continue. And now we have a sales team as a part of the sales team site member, okay? So in the event of any new user getting added into the sales team entra group or a user who is getting removed from the sales team entra group, according to that, they will have the access to the site or they will not have the access to the site, okay? From the governance standpoint of view, this is very important and a recommended best practice as well. I hope this simple example helped you to understand knowing a little bit about the Entra group as well as how to add the Entra groups into the SharePoint group. I thank you for watching the video.